अगर आप मुझसे पूछेंगे कि यहाँ आके मुझे क्या फील हुआ ये रिकॉर्ड हो रहा है अच्छा हाँ अब ये आ गया वैसे भी भाई हमारा एक्सपोजर टू अमेरिका इस थ्रू फिल्म्स हॉलीवुड बचपन से ठीक है और हॉलीवुड की फिल्मों में ये नेटिव इंडियंस और कॉकेजन जो यूरोपियंस आए थे यहाँ पे अमेरिका पे कब्जा करने के लिए ये वाले इवेंट्स बहुत ज़्यादा थे तो हमारे दिल में नेटिव इंडियंस के लिए बहुत सिम्पथी है क्योंकि ये सारा अमेरिका उन्हीं का था बाहर से लोग आए और इन्होंने कब्जा कर दिया एनी वाइज उस नहीं जाएंगे वो तक किसी के बाप का जो जुर्म था उसकी सज़ा औलाद को नहीं दी जा सकती हाँ हमें एहसास होना चाहिए वो जॉन स्नो का एक डायलॉग है वो कहता है कि But I will not punish a son for his father's sins. सनी की जो गाड़ी है इट लुक्स इंटरेस्टिंग द कलर चॉइस इज इंटरेस्टिंग और यहाँ के रोड्स पे वो गाड़ी कैसे लगेगी हमने ऐसी ख्वाहिश जाहिर की और सनी ने कहा डूड यू का दिस लेट्स गो फॉर ड्राइव स्मूथ I feel like I'm going to steal this car in a movie and then drive the shit out of this car during a car chase because I've been chased by police or if I either I'm going to be chasing some criminal or whatever some action scene stuff some Tom Cruise shit there you go we thodi photography is building ke sath अगर फोटोग्राफी ना हुई तो नथिंग नेवर हैपन सनी इज माय मॉडल राइट नाउ सन प्रोड्यूसर असिस्टेंट एट ग्रीन पैसेस स्टूडियोस सनी की कमाल की बात है कि अब तक हॉलीवुड के दो बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स का हिस्सा रहे हैं ये एज अ फुटबॉल पीए फॉर अमेरिकन अंडरडॉग ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स एज अ ट्रैवल पीए फॉर एन अपकमिंग मार्टिन स्कोर्सेसी मूवी कॉल्ड किलर्स ऑफ द फ्लावर मून जी हां बिल्कुल सही सुना आपने मार्टिन स्कोर्सेसी आ रहे हैं इस बार Killers of the Flower Moon के साथ with Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio. ये हमारा ड्रामा सेट तो नहीं कि रिलीज से पहले ही सबको सोशल मीडिया पे वायरल हो जाता है. लेकिन Sunny was kind enough to share a picture with me from the sets of Killers of the Flower Moon. Well, that's Leonardo DiCaprio standing, guys. Thanks, Sunny, for this picture. <laughs> It's uh, every every person that I worked with, they they gave a different. This gifts. is beautiful. This is inspiring. Like when you mentioned your Scorsese experience, that's lovely. And Those what is were, that? Um, actually, that's opposite. Um, those are coasters that were also given to me by somebody else who worked on it. It's a Kills of the Flower Moon. All that kind of stuff. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. It's really neat to... I had a whole bunch of stuff uh, given to me from that movie, so mm -hmm. I was really lucky. Very, uh, mm -hmm. very fortunate. Mm -hmm. All right. Sonny has an interesting taste, but the Oklahoman has a thing for guns as well. Welcome to the West, guys. So I want to imagine something good. Mel hair. I want to film it as well. So imagine Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Filming his new time time dimension story in Oklahoma. Oh yes. And Green Pastures is in collaboration with him. Yes. And Green Pastures is sending me a special invitation. Yeah. Does Ishan come over to Oklahoma? We want you to witness Oklahoma <laughs> with Christopher Nolan. Absolutely. Filming here. Yeah. And and Christopher Nolan will say, "Oh my gosh, that guy is a natural. I want him in this movie." <laughs> and he's a good drone operator. <laughs> That's right. He could do both. Yeah, it's a uh, What a money saving. Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Let's imagine some good things. Yeah. So freedom right. of 
freedom of imagination. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. We will make it so. So, Melody. Yeah. Now, this is Melody, the co-owner of Green Pastures Studios. فلم میکنگ کی دنیا میں آنے سے پہلے یہ وابستہ تھی وتھ یونائٹ اسٹیٹس ایئر فورس کے میڈیکل ڈپارٹمنٹ میں اور ان کی ڈیوٹی تھی ان ٹرکی اینڈ بینگ ان ٹرکی مینز شی نوز ہیل آر آف تھنگز اباؤٹ آر پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ ایز ویل جس کے بارے میں آج بالکل بھی بات نہیں ہوگی This guy over here, Brad Pitt, yes. is one of my uh, favorite, or uh, my favorite. Okay. And you said he was born in Oklahoma. He was. He, um, and you can see on the sign, um, Brad Pitt was born in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Born in Shawnee, but only, he only lived here until he was about two. Mm-hmm. And then they moved to Missouri, which is a neighboring state. All right. Um, so, but they all, we always claim him just because everybody of knows course. who Brad Pitt is. Yeah. لیڈیز اینڈ لیڈیز دس از می سیلیبریٹیز آل اے کے اے زی شان اور اپنی اوقات سے بڑے خواب دیکھنے کا عادی ہوں میں جیسا کہ مجھے ہالی ووڈ جا کر آسکر جیتنا انہیں بڑے بڑے خوابوں کے بیچ ایک چھوٹی سی ڈیولپمنٹ یہ ہوئی کہ امپورٹڈ حکومت کے ایجوکیشن ڈپارٹمنٹ نے مجھے دی ایک شارٹ ٹرم اسکالرشپ اور سیدھا مجھے پھینکا ہالی ووڈ کے ایک اسٹوڈیو جس کا نام ہے گرین پیس اسٹوڈیوز اوکلاہوما گرین پیس اسٹوڈیوز چھ ایکڑ میں واقعہ ایک اسٹیٹ آف دی آرٹ فیسلٹی ہے جس میں وہ تمام تر سہولیات موجود ہیں جو کسی بھی طرح کی فلم کو بنانے کے لیے ضروری ہوتی ہیں وہاں کے پروفیشنل ماحول میں کام سیکھنے کا موقع بہت ہی کارآمد ثابت ہوا ہمارے اسٹارٹ اپ سیلیبریٹی سول کے لیے تھینک یو سو مچ یونائٹ اسٹیٹس آف امیرکا This is what we call stage three. Um, we added two layers of plywood to the floor. Mm-hmm. All the walls, do you see that insulation type stuff? It's sound deadening insulation. All of mm-hmm. these walls are covered in it. And then this steric kind of soundproofing material on it. All um, right, this is uh, guys, some soundproof. Um, a gentleman named Gray Fredrickson. Gray mm-hmm. Fredrickson also did Apocalypse Now and He won an Academy Award for Godfather 2 yeah. for that. He is from Oklahoma and he runs the uh, film program down at Oklahoma City Community College. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice, nice guy. Of course, he's older now, obviously. Oh, We all are. Right. Um, but really nice man. Anyway. Which is really hard to do. But uh, there was a movie called Barry Lyndon. Mm-hmm. And that was, I think we discussed with Stanley Kubrick, mm-hmm. who did all of it with natural light and he used like an old NASA satellite lens and repurposed it as his lens camera. Now the question is where do I fit in this picture? ارے بھائی ایکٹر ہوں کانٹینٹ کریٹر ہوں وائس ایکٹر ہوں ڈرون آپریٹر ہوں اور رائٹ یہ سب کچھ تو تھا لیکن جو اصل وجہ بنی یہ موقع ملنے کی وہ تھی پاکستان جب ان کو میں نے دیکھا تھرو مائی ڈرون لینس لیٹس واچ اٹ اگین So we're just going to dive right into it. Here we go, because I'm so excited to hear your story. Um, so how did, how did you guys initially break into the film industry? We'd love to hear more about, you know, Green Pastures and, and what got you here. Oh, that's awesome. So do you want the long story or yes. should I do a yes. little middle story? Um, yes. It's funny. I was just at McGinnis yesterday speaking to a bunch of students and told this story and realized that um, I have a shorter version. So let's see if I can, if I can do that a little mm-hmm. bit. I, um, ha- I grew up in San Francisco Bay Area, had no idea what I wanted to be. I thought I was going to be a psychologist. So I ended up going to Penn State. I um, hate to say it, but I drank my way out of three majors, sociology, psychology, and environmental studies, and really was thinking, I have no idea what I want to do in college. 
And my parents at that same time, they ended up losing everything. So they weren't able to afford to pay for me anymore. And I had to figure out, okay, now I'm on my own. True story. One night I um, had a dream. And in my dream, I was actually at my own funeral. And I was with my mom, who was this very uh, emotional woman. And she was just bawling. She was absolutely hysterical. And she's like, oh my God, Amy, what am I going to do? What do I do when you're gone? I don't know how I'm going to survive. And and um, I looked at her, and I have no idea to this day where this came from. I looked at her, and I said, Mom, I'm going to make a movie. Amy James, co-owner of Green Pass Studios, documentary filmmaker, went to Los Angeles Film School. Amy ne ab tak teen Amazon ki documentaries pe as a production consultant ke taur par kaam kiya hai jinke naam hai As Seen Through These Eyes Valentine Road The Rolling Stones Crossfire Hurricane Amy ne mujhe bataya ki Oklahoma ki film industry developing stage par hai aur hum aksar bahar se aane wali badi filmon ka fayda uthate hain aur isi developing stage ko apne liye ek business opportunity bhi samajhte hain She said ke isi saal mein hi Disney ki Reservation Dogs, Apple ki Killers of the Flower Moon aur Paramount Pictures ki Tulsa King Oklahoma mein shoot hua jiska hame bahut fayda hua. Making your own Hollywood here like that. We're, we were trying to emulate. Like it, I heard that Atlanta before Breaking Bad it was small. But when Breaking Bad happened there, sorry, the Walking Dead. Walking Dead, Walking exactly. Dead happened there. It's big now. It's massive. It's 9 billion dollar a year industry for them. Just massive. because of Walking Dead, such big TV show. So, because Walking, what Walking Dead did was it allowed for an infrastructure to be to be built. So it allowed for a long-term project to come in, so they could train. And it was people. on a massive scale. Yeah, it was on a massive scale, and yeah. most so besides the infrastructure, Oklahoma doesn't have the crew base, uh -huh. so it's not really more cost-effective to fly everybody from Los Angeles, put them all up in housing. As a producer, that's not really. You would like to be able to pull local crew to keep mm -hmm. your costs down. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk to you about what we are going to do. Okay, of yeah. course, I cannot show the yeah, yeah. film. So, um, Richard James. Yes, Z. Looking at you or looking at the camera? Uh, I cannot say anything to you because you're the boss here. You're the one who orchestrated camera and... The do on works. yeah everything but i'm very happy to be subservient to another fantastic artist such as yourself ah thank you so much sir that means a lot <laughs> to me tell us about your journey as an actor you from england yep. making it into hollywood and then you work with some a uh, big guns of hollywood would you yeah, care so to shed some light on it i started working as an actor in england at the age of uh 14 mm -hmm. uh did lots of british tv shows and dreadful dreadful commercials mm -hmm. uh we all do the commercials as actors when we start out and then at the age of um at the age of uh, 16 i was uh, there was a director i was working with who sort of pulled me under his wing and, and taught me what it meant to be a director based at Ealing Studios and with the BBC. Mm -hmm. And so I spent uh, a number of years mentoring under some directors there. I went to film school, graduated film school, got nominated for a Royal Television Society award mm -hmm. and went Richard James, co-owner of Green Pass Studios, writer of a book called Entrepreneur's Personal Branding Handbook, director of the upcoming film made by Green Pass Studios called Cricket. Richard ne mujhse kaha ke be a star, S T A R. Swift tactful aware resourceful richard ofta ke liye bhi kaam karte hain ofta means oklahoma film school and television academy aur jahan pe local school train kiya jata hai for any big opportunity regarding filmmaking aur isi silsile mein unhone mujhe bhi offer di to attend an acting workshop in los angeles hollywood you made a promise to me to send me to hollywood to attend an acting workshop yes right i'll come again and uh, is my promise still like it is there 100% all right you are going to train with a, an actor called uh, with a directing coach called Guy Camilleri mm -hmm. Guy Camilleri I think is one of the best acting coaches in Hollywood uh he coaches a lot of very big names where they will go and sit in their trailer on a movie with I know one chap was doing a movie with Russell Crowe where he was one of the leads in that movie with Russell oh, Crowe wow. and he'd sit in the trailer and he would call Guy and they'd have coaching sessions every day before he went on to set Uh guy is a master of true acting. That is finding the truth within inside you of each part and then being raw and vulnerable in your performance so that when the camera is on you and you are on that massive screen we are seeing into your soul playing that character. But the two worlds of that character and your soul combined to one to produce magic. 
and Guy Camilleri is a genius. I had him out here on my last movie. He worked with the actors for five days. Um, any of my big projects, I always bring Guy in. He's brilliant. So you're going to spend some time with him when you come back mm -hmm. uh, in Hollywood and um, working working with his uh, his his group of actors. Inshallah. This is how we say Inshallah, if God wills it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, uh, so that I saw some of your stuff that you've shot as you've tra traveled around Pakistan and, and the beauty of how you shot it, the journey that you're taking people on and the amazing culture and country brought me to tears. I was just, I was welled oh, up watching it. Thank you so and much. And so I can't wait to watch your films Sitting here, well, not sitting here, let's sit in a big movie theater. Ladies and ladies, filmmaking is a very big deal. This is our experience, which we have shared with you. I hope you will like it. Sir, see you.